I was always that kid at school who'd always skip gym classes and not want to go swimming or anything like that. And I think for me to now be saying that I'm a professional athlete, <laughs> I would never have imagined that would have happened a couple years ago. <laughs> After losing my sight and going on my first trip when I was six, my mum took me skiing straight after that. I knew that instantly from the moment I clipped my boots into my skis that skiing would be the, the career that I'd take. My name's Millie Knight. I'm GB's youngest ever winter Paralympian. I'm visually impaired and I ski with my guide, Brett Wild. I'm throwing myself down a mountain at 115 kilometres an hour and it's really important that I only listen to Brett. But the other thing I do listen to is the sound of his skis, so I will know if it's icy, if it's a bit soft, if it's a bump, just by the sound that his skis make. I think one of the main things that's helped is the skills I've developed from the Royal Navy in communication, because communication is key to this. Um, it's being clear and confident. I'm Brett Wild. Royal Navy Submariner has been released for two years as Millie Knight's ski guide. I can't even begin to imagine what Millie's going through skiing at that speed, being able to see three metres in front of her. So she's skiing faster than we can legally drive in the United Kingdom, and she has no sight. I think it's unbelievable. Three, two, one, let's go, come on! I feel we had a very successful season last year. You know, we've we've become world champions. We've won World Cups, Europa Cups. Um, I think there's sort of one thing missing in our collection. Paralympic champion would be quite nice. And I know there will be pressure for us to repeat that. But I know, you know, you are only as good as your last race. And this is a totally new season. So we're almost starting from a scratch. And so we're really just going to try and do our best.